What up, though? Welcome to another episode of the Sea of Thieves Seas Ain't Safe. Okay? Now, please feel, uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for the people that's been sending me videos to put in the background. I honestly admire and I appreciate that. And that right there shows me support. That's, that's all that does. I mean, it might not be major. It's not donations or nothing like that. But the fact that you send that in order to be featured inside of a Bay Fanger video. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, let's get into it. I don't know if I want to go into story time first. I don't know if I want to expose people to knock them out with the lies they've been saying. Maybe I should possibly get that out the way first. It has been a lot going on clearly. Problem. Okay. And what I've been paying attention to and what I have been seeing is all this stuff develop. Right. But I know y'all like, no, Bayfinger, hurry up and get to the definition of a savage bandits part. Because that thumbnail is very, very intriguing. Okay, that's what caught our attention. We will get to that later. Or, hey, go ahead and skip to it. I'm not tripping. Problem. Now, let's talk about... Let's talk, I just want to get this out of the way real quick. Because when I expose somebody, I end up normally, you know, bringing it back to showing you how they expose themselves. Like this, for example. I want to know why I fucking don't like you, dude. You lie. You're full of shit and you lie. That's why. You said you want me to forward me on a galleon. I don't play on a galleon, you dumbass. You said you want me to forward me on a galleon. I don't play on a galleon, you dumbass. I don't play on a galleon, you dumbass. I don't play on a galleon, you dumbass. What is that? You guessed it. That is a problem, okay? He clearly lies again. That's what I'm saying. They expose their selves. The seas is not safe. He's clearly on a galleon, but he called Gleason a dumbass after Gleason called him delusional, right? If he says he doesn't play on a galleon or it never happened, but he gets caught on a galleon, that makes him delusional, which therefore makes Gleason telling the truth problem. Moving forward now, the guy Sapphire has been piping up. Hey, Thanger's lying. He's putting out all this false information. What did he say? I also believe at one point, Sapphire said that he has changed. Do you guys want to see what happened recently? Who is ready for story time? Because I got the stories, okay? And I can put all the information out. That's why I be trying to warn and tell people you have to be careful when you're saying you didn't do this and you didn't do that. Because... When people expose you, the truth will come out, okay? Now, I was sent here by the Sea Dog Heavens, okay? Now, that's that's what I was. Now, these guys actually think they can spawn camp us. Two seconds later. Poor bro. Dude, these guys don't know how to fucking double gun. It's so pissing me off. Learn how to double gun, you shit players. Learn how to double gun, you shit players. Learn how to double gun, you shit players. <laughs> uh, yeah, we should scuttle and come back. Oh, game next door. Dude. <laughs> Purple died. Dude, god damn it, dude. These kids are so bad. Look at him bucket me. Because it's because they know that we're good. That's the only thing. Dude, these guys are fucking dumb. How does this kid get on? Dude, I'm about to use a sword. Fuck that. Let's jump right into it, okay? Now, this fella is talking about Sapphire. Last time I had any information about Sapphire, when he contacted me and tried to tell me something personally, he says he's a changed man, okay? In fact, he was sending messages to somebody saying, Bay Finger talks about everything that is a lie, Okay? But like I said, I was sent here from the sea dog heavens by the sea god's problem. If y'all ready for story time, if you don't feel like reading it all, don't read it all. If you just don't care, then don't care. But you're here for a reason. You're here for this information. And you're here to see people exposed. This is what I do. So moving forward, Davey Seeley says, so I used to be a member of this community. And I have a lot of info to give. 
So he said he was going to do a loot haul since he was done with school for a year. And I thought it was cool. Me being an active member of the Discord and one of the mod's friends, I asked if I could join. He said, sure. So we tell him it's Golden Glory weekend. Eden says, oh, sorry, I'm going to play with my real crew problem. Now, imagine being a follower of Sapphire on Twitch. Excuse me. Wanting to play with him. Then he says, yeah. OK. And then he ends up ditching you to go play with his quote unquote real crew problem. It gets worse. He said we waited an hour just for him to bail and we were all pissed off. Me and two ex mods. This story happened today. Not yesterday, not tomorrow. This happened today. Problem. Sapphire says he has changed, but apparently not. And they are no longer mods. And he called us crybabies and soft for getting mad. And we were all super pissed. So imagine being a content creator on Twitch, having people follow you. Right. So then ask to play with you. You say yes. You ditch them. And then you call them all soft problem and cry babies problem <laughs> for getting mad. Right. For them being bamboozled. Anyway, he says, and we were all super pissed. And I said something along the lines of imagine doing fake ga giveaways or something like that. He warned me and I called him soft. Insta banned from Discord server. He said he get he said he gets unbanned and then he gets invited back and nothing much happens. He says Sapphire goes live and we are telling his chat that he grew from fake giveaways and he kept timing us out and banned me. He also modded someone and said so. How to mod is if anyone calls me stupid, time them out for six hundred sex se uh, seconds. And if they mention fake giveaways and stuff like that, just ban them. He said, so I was so mad. So, so mad. So his loot haul was him spawn camping an Ashen Lord on a solo galley and taking all his collectors and villi, uh, villi skulls. So I made fun of him for that, and he got even more mad at me. Also, he called someone an idiot. He's calling his supporters idiots. Problem. Pay attention. <laughs> and some other questionable things for living in the UK. So he has something against people in the UK. Problem. <laughs> and that person said back, shut up, you greasy little Mexican. And Sapphire called him racist. Plot twist. Sapphire is calling him racist, yet in his Discord, he has an emote with the N-word problem. He said the N-word multiple times, right? And he says that the N-word with the A at the end of it isn't racist. Problem. Okay, imagine being, okay, not black, right, when this derogatory word is used towards black people, and you're trying to educate somebody who's not black by letting them know if they say nigga, OK, with the A, that it's not racist. I'm here to let anybody know right now, OK, that is not black. Do not walk up to a black person and say, what's up, my nigga? It is not going to turn out good. A matter of fact, pay attention to this clip real quick. What's up, my nigga? What did you just say? What's up, my nigga? <laughs> Problem, okay? That was Jackie Chan right there saying it, and it wasn't going to turn out too good for him. Moving forward. Okay, this kid shaking my head. Anyways, the people he banned were only people who actually watched the streams. He banned people who donated $60 worth of gifts, okay? And subs. Problem. And bits, right? And stuff. And he said, if you think donating money is going to give you power, then you're wrong. If you think that you're donating money is going to give you all the power in the world, then you are wrong. And he said he was going to do the haul, right? Well, this man ended at 44 minutes and said he would stream later, never stream later anyway. So, yeah, Sapphire is annoying. OK, edit. He also called in Alaskan country. 
excuse me, called Alaska a country. He's 14 and he should know better. The reason why people are exposing Sapphire and Akoop is because they're liars, okay? They're scamming people in their Twitch for, you know, saying they have codes and everything. And, you know, they're getting money from people and people try to play with them, right? You got Gleason who supports Akoop. But he's calling Gleason a dumbass and a liar, but he was but he was caught red-handed lying, right? Then you got Sapphire having people donate him money, lying about giveaways, then saying he's gonna play with people that watch him but ends up ditching them to go play with quote unquote his real crew problem. They expose themselves, but yet again, they finger be lying though, right? Imagine. Moving forward. Now, I'm not too happy about this, what I heard, right? I don't even got the information about, or excuse me, I don't even have the video clips as if it really even happened, but I am told that it happened. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, this right here hurt me, okay? This was embarrassing. I can't believe it. I, I, like, I didn't even want to report it, but I have to do it. Now, Mattress, you know why he calls himself Mattress? is because he said he's tired of being slept on problem, okay? Then you got Rabs. Now, Rabs is a real, in his head, some badass in real life that could beat anybody up because I guess he trains for UFC. But he's also supposed to be real bad, meaning good in, in this particular moment, in the game Sea of Thieves. Nobody has seen I Sun It lately, right? All of a sudden, oh, excuse me, somebody recently asked me too, what has Council Kashidi been doing lately? I said they ain't been doing shit. Problem, okay? <laughs> because a lot of them have now left Polo solo to go join Velocity. Imagine that. Man, when you reap what you sow, what goes around comes around. Anyway, like I was saying, so I son it ends up disappearing in the process of everybody transitioning, going to Velocity. But he ends up making a return, and guess who he makes a return with? Carso, him and Carso, 2v2 mattress in raps. And from what I'm being told, they are part of PM Magellan's clan, the PM Mafia problem. And they ended up losing to mattress and raps. Carso and I son it. I can only give my son at bail money by saying, I guess he was sick. That's what Carso says. Problem. Hey, if being sick, Affects your keyboards and playing the games? I don't know. One of y'all, somebody's going to have to confirm that for me. But this is what I'm being told. Mattress and Rabs dropped off Carso, who is a part of Velocity, and I sent it. Is I sent it a part of Velocity? I don't know yet. Problem. But when you go on a hiatus and you leave every Discord, the only then there come back after you have been crowned amongst the top five players amongst the Sea of Thieves? And then to lose to Raps and Mattress? It's not a good look, buddy. That is a problem. Carso gets so frustrated, he wants to deny the whole thing. But he says the only thing he could really talk about is the fact that Sonnet was uh, sick. But then he also says, and Raps admitting to you, admitted to using ESP. It was Mattress and Raps. That's the only time we lost to them. We beat them right after. I'm going to leave for y'all to make that decision on how you feel like this all turned out. Carso, that was probably not a smart move, okay? And I'm going to tell you right now, you are a target amongst the seas. If anybody could catch you slipping, they are going to get you because they call you Mr. Clips. They say you clip everything. But for some strange reason, you haven't sent me a clip of any of this battle that took place. Imagine being part of one of the best crews right now amongst the seas. And you lose to a, a no-name team, right? Up to, uh, in, in, problem. I, I don't even know what to say. Like I said, it, it, it was really tough telling that story right there. But it has happened. And I'm not friends with nobody, so I had to let it be known. Now, it has not been looking real good out here for Angel and his lover, okay? Angel has just recently lost to somebody. Now, Angel has a history of, you know, piping up. Problem. And then also... I mean, he's kind of good. He's okay good. Maybe. I don't know. I thought. As much as he pipes up, I, th I thought he was. Let's just say 
He's at least better than the glizzy goblins, right? Problem? Apparently not. He got clipped and clapped and he got rinsed off. Okay? This is footage of him getting rich, ripped, uh, excuse me, rinsed off by OG Lash, the leader of the glizzy goblins himself. We all know the glizzy goblins can't shoot, right? Problem? But apparently, OG Lash clipped and he clapped. Angel's furry ass problem. And Angel was so upset about it. Nico had to even step in because Nico couldn't believe it. But Nico had seen it and he goes, hey, getting slammed by the leader of Glizzy Goblins? Angel says he doesn't die. Nico said, dude, that's no excuse. He's a Glizzy Goblin. Angel said, he started teaming with Green Ladder that match and he still lost. Nico said, yeah, but bro. Glizzy Goblin. Like, come on now. Get in 1v2? Angel says, I can't take this anymore. Look, I think he's toggling. Because he legit either misses everything or he hits everything. Because just before that, he literally was dog shit problem. And then he started magically hitting everything and tried teaming with green like the F. Inconsistency. Like, that is weird as F. Always hitting everything is one thing. Always missing everything is one thing. Problem. Angel said he just can't believe the fact that he just lost to a glizzy goblin. You know, the people who cannot shoot. He says that homeboy is toggling. I'll let y'all be the judge of that. Angel, was he toggling? Or have you lost your step? I'm just asking a question. I don't know. Have you lost your step? Ever since you've come out of the closet? Or maybe, I don't know. I figure maybe this is because this is Pride Month. Maybe you have a lot of pressure on you. Maybe you haven't been able to focus lately or whatever, right? I don't know. But you lost to a glizzy goblin. You've been catching a lot of L's this week. Problem, okay? This week, L's. The only L that is benefiting you right now is the fact that you have your lover, okay? <laughs> That's that. So, moving forward. Can somebody please tell me who Arius is? Problem? This kid snaps, right? He loses it, right? Somebody bans him, and then he ends up attacking Referred, who was innocent in this instance. But, he said it doesn't matter. I'm mad, okay? I'm so mad that I'm about to call Referred, who is not black, which this word is used toward derogatory, he says, I'm about to go in. He says, you know what? You dumb nigger. Why did you ban me? First said, then he tries to call him, right? He wants to let him know this is serious. Not only am I going to type it, I want you to hear it. Refer doesn't answer. Refer says, bruh, it wasn't me. LMAO. Aria says, check the audits and unban me, please. Refer says, why? Aria says, I got banned from, from stolen. Unban me. Refer says, okay. Not my problem. Arius says, unban me or I will hit you offline. This sounds like a modern day lynching. Problem. <laughs> okay? This sounds like, nigga, if you don't obey, I'm going to hang your ass, right? So he pretty much comes right out, though. You know, he, he, he shoots from the hip right off the bat. You dumb nigga. And then he's going to discipline him by threatening him to knock him offline. Who is Arius, y'all? Because the kid, he's walking around like he got some big cojones, eh? Problem. Right? So, he says, screenshot it, right? And then he says, I don't unban me or I will hit you offline. Screenshot it. He says, I don't care, you retarded cunt. Refer says, L LOL, you mad? He says, no. He says, mean, it sounds like you are. Arius says, if I was mad, you wouldn't have Wi-Fi. Doubles down on the threat. Refer says, so, you're hitting me off. Because you got banned, right? Arius says, no. Refer says, okay. He says, can you just effing unban me? But you're saying, <laughs> Refer says, unban me or you will hit or I will hit you off is not going to be, is not going to get you back. And you don't know, and you do know that, right? <laughs> okay. Refer's trolling, but at the same time too, it's like, bro, you just came at me kind of foul, right? First, you're calling me a nigger. And now you're threatening my Wi-Fi, right? Problem? 
this is gonna help me play the game i mean i play sod bro i don't i don't want to get knocked off wi-fi especially for something i did not do then he goes i just dosed him he will be going off any minute razor says don't problem I don't know who Arius is, people, okay? But it's the APB out on Arius. I need this guy clipped and clapped and rinsed off by all means. And send me the clips. But be careful, because apparently he's a doxer, and he'll knock you off. Kick him out of any Discord affiliated with me. If the guy's in a Discord with me, I need him. I, I, need him, I, I need him rinsed. I need him washed off. I'm sorry. It's been a hit put out by Bay Thanger. And y'all know I don't play. And you got to listen. You know why? Because if not... I'll blunder your ass. And I'm going to let you guys know something, too. This is a bomb sale. This is an Easter egg information I am giving you right here. So y'all know how Blunder Thumpers is no longer with us, right? I had to flip the B in the T. I got a new crew, TB. TB stands for Thirsty Boys, okay? We are the Thirsty Boys crew. Don't ask who's on it because right now it's just me. And I'm not going to let nobody know anything. Thirsty Boys in full effect problem now are y'all ready okay or I, I really don't know what story to tell first okay i could it's it's the story of the bandits okay choff catchy kittentopia and rocco problem or i got another special surprise does anybody know what pace just did yes somebody Ran into pace. You want to hear the story? Here it goes. So, what I guess what happened is Pace ends up pulling up on them because they have a Reaper's flag, up, if I'm not mistaken. Something led Pace to seeing them, all right? He ends up pulling up on them. He kind of tries to troll, you know, pulls out his little microphone. Hey, you guys turning in fish? You know, no, thinking that they're going to be some easy clips and claps. Little to his be known, he ran into a problem okay now when he ran up on these individuals he had no idea that they'd be getting on his boat and after they got on his boat they would be spawn camping him a little bit right they spawn camped him they end up killing him okay once they end up killing him they took his loot all right so once they took his loot pace was like forget it you know ggs but he was giving them credit he gave them credit he never spoke bad about them one time people asking in their chat they like hey are they cheating he was like, no, I just thought they were good. I mean, I think they're good. He was like, I had no idea. I thought these guys were weenies, problem. But he was like, no, they're actually good, right? So, you know, he's just looting back up again or whatever, right? But he says, you know what? They're still over at the Reaper's hideout, okay? So he starts heading over to Reaper's hideout. These geniuses, I believe they scuttled. As you can see, the loot is sitting in the water. They go to turn in. It's the battle of all battles. Now, this is a perfect example of why I don't like to play with TDMers in adventure. Okay? Anybody, anybody that's anybody knows, right? Anybody that's an adventure player knows when you get the loot, you go try to turn it in as soon as possible. Problem, but... They don't understand or, uh, the, the fact of like revenge is much more sweeter, okay? And Pace and his boy had a sweet tooth problem, okay? Now, it wasn't Kabobble. It wasn't, uh, what's my guy's name? Uh, it wasn't Chopbone. This is my first time seeing Pace play with this guy. But apparently the guy is good. The reason being why they go to Reaper's hideout, they end up clipping and clapping Conway and Aspen, Getting their loot back, right? And then turned it in problem. They won the war, but they lost the battle. Okay, they won the war of we stole your loot, we camped and we sank you. But they lost the battle as far as when they went to Reaper's hideout. They got clipped and clapped, rinsed off. And Pace gets to look good in front of all his viewers that was watching that night. And the only story they get to tell is, hey, we killed Pace. Problem. Instead of, bro, we killed Pace, took his loot, and turned it in and made him leave. What could have been a wonderful, great story turned into a disaster problem. 
That's why I don't like to play with TDMers in adventure. They're like a they're like a dog that's excited over you know some treats or whatever, right? As soon as they see a treat, they're sitting there, they're patting. <laughs> Right. They're losing their freaking mind. Right. Or let's just say you got a ball in your hand. Right. A tennis ball. They're just going crazy. Right. They're waiting for you to throw the ball. They just just can't. You fake throw the ball. They do a 360. You fake throw the ball. They threw a 360 again. You finally throw the ball. They go get it. Problem. But they wasted all that energy and excitement. To then therefore come back empty handed. Or if they even come back at all. Right. Because you keep fake throwing the ball. Anyway, the, the point I'm trying to make here. Right. Problem. Is they just failed. They ruined a great story. And a lot of people probably didn't know this, but I'm here to let you know you heard it here first. Yes. Okay. Conway and Aspen got rinsed off, clipped and clapped by Pace once again. So once again, Pace prevails. Why the TDM community is looking bad out here. We do all this TDM and right. Everybody likes to talk about how Pace is bad. But yet again, he comes out on top. Problem moving forward. Now. This is when it gets a little interesting around here. Scurvy Choff. There's a long history behind him and Rocco people don't understand. There's a lot of history behind Rocco and Pace. The reason I say that is, right? Like, for example, if you watch this clip, watch. What are we doing here? (laughs) Double gun losers. (laughs) <laughs> Captain Phaedrus, thank you for the follow. Bet you're not friends with Pace. Pace 22 is better. They're like in the chat. <laughs> now, after you see that, I want you guys to understand this, okay? Rocco is suffering from PTSD from when that band wave took place. As you see there, that is Chaff clipping and clapping on her, right? And he's doing the double gun thing, right? And I believe that's his boy Catchy with him. It doesn't matter. It's one of the definition of the savage bandits with Chaff. And then he types Pace in there, this, that, and the third. I'm going to tell you what happened. Now, Rocco doesn't forget about this, okay? Fast forward to the future, right? When this whole band, because she went on a rant, right? Her feelings was hurt, right? Like she was double gunning. She was really, really very, very angry, angry what Choff was doing to her. Playing the game, the devs have said to use an exploit to make the, the guns pop off at a much faster capacity than the game was developed for. Well, then you're cheating. Especially when I, we saw, we saw the kid is good at the game. That's the thing. He was killing it. He was he was great. We've seen- and then you know you type the pace in there is better than you or well, you're not friends. Whatever he was saying, problem. When she came back and when then and then this had happened, right? She had already sent the messages to Rare about the bandits and what took place. Also, while mentioning pace, problem. I didn't even mean to say that, but it, since it rhymed, I had to say it. Moving forward. When that band wave happened, Chaff is, I don't want to say he's the reason behind all that, but what I'm trying to let y'all know is Rocco had already ruined the bandit's reputation when that footage that I just show you or I am showing you right now had taken place. She had never forgot about the bandits, right? So you guys are like, okay, maybe still I don't understand. Chaff and Ketchy show up. When she makes her return, that's why you have the gun like at her face pointed due to this. Right. People ended up getting banned. Rare is so mad that they just said, hey, we're just going to wipe out anybody and everybody that we've ever heard to be affiliated with the definition of a savage bandits, which is a problem. But Chuff. And Rocco has had this history for a while, and that is why that band wave happened along with Logic's account. Now, I'm not one to point fingers. I'm not saying blame him, but I'm just saying it was a deeper story and more history to what took place. 
So if he, if he says something about Pace and he's double gunning her, and then she goes on one of her rants, right? Okay, and then you fast forward to the future. She gets back on the game. Next thing she knows, she sees Choff again. And then somebody ends up saying, get raped by Pace. Oh, it was already set in stone. She had written her name in stone. I mean, it, it was already dead, right? Rare already knows. Then she leaves and goes and tells again, and that band waves happen. That's what I need y'all to understand. See, you have to go back in the past in order to understand the future. So when all you little sidekicks and fanboys is like, oh, I should have been a part of that band wave. I should have been a part of that. No, you shouldn't. Okay? You're not OG. I'm sorry. Okay, a lot of you guys are just fans of the bandits. Who was around? The only person I'm surprised that got his account back, and I'm just going to say it, is <coughs> Cough. Because Cough is in that clip, too. Right. And he has a bad reputation amongst the seas. I've, I've, I've got footage. You guys can go back, and watch my old videos. That guy trolls kids hard. OK, including me. I'll never forget. But like I was saying, Scurvy Choff and Rocco had history. And that is why that band wave took place. The bandits problem. Moving forward. Somebody is in love. And I'm going to tell you something what I also know. Well, no, before I even say this, Logic lost his account, right? They just recently unbanned one of the Logic counts that was banned, which is somebody that was impersonating him. But this is funny. Why would they unban that account but not give Logic back his account? Did Rare make a mistake? I don't even know if Logic knows this problem. But here is the clip, or excuse me, the screenshot of that. Yes, that is one of the Logic accounts that ended up getting banned. One of the accounts that caused him to possibly get banned. That one is now active. Somebody make that make sense. There's some crazy stuff happening amongst the C's lady with the uh, C's lately with the definition of a savage bandits. Let's talk about these two lovebirds here. I remember a time Catchy and Logic used to play with that uh, the Christmas tree uh, Twitch chick. I, I don't I can't remember her name. It was she was I don't know. She was very I don't know. She had a Christmas tree up in the back of her in her back room, and it was like February or whatever. Was, that, that's a white person thing. I, I, I kid you not. Y'all don't take y'all Christmas trees down forever. Problem anyway. He used to play with Logic. So the point I'm trying to make here is it's always two bandits whenever a girl's affiliated. OK, if not, then maybe it is. Oh no, it is catchy by himself. Listen to this because she cannot hold water like women can't hold water when they're pregnant. No pun. But I'm saying she can't keep a secret. Let's listen to this. Her sense is so bad. Me yeah. Catchy got in the same server. Oh, my God. Backtrack. You know. Me and Ketchy got in the same server, um, so we're just TDMing and then She just said me and Ketchy. Problem! So it's true that Kittentopia and Ketchy have been playing together, and this has not just been for a little bit. They have been playing together for what I'm being told for the last several months, so if you guys want to know if the bandits are still around, yes they are. Problem! Because I'm going to tell you right now, Ketchy ain't by himself. If Ketchy is by himself, he's with her. If you guys see a third, guaranteed that's a bandit. Now, I don't know who's better friends with between Middle, Ketchy, uh, Nixon, or whatever. But whoever is Ketchy is closest to, that's another bandit. Now, if I was to take a guess, I'm going to say it's Chuff. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I feel like he is still around too. But what makes this even more deeper on how I know they've been playing for a long time. Because check this out right here. Not only do they play together, they're dating. Yeah, we got a lot of love going on amongst the seas. Okay? Ketchy is dating Kittentopia. Okay? And he is protecting her at all costs. Not only is he protecting her, he's protecting the loot. I'm being told they got they were going to get robbed, but they took all the loot into the Red Sea problem, which kind of doesn't make sense. Because they didn't see me the footage, somebody just said that. But I saw three people, Quicks, Scuttle, and Comedy, try to run up on Kittentopia and Ketchy. And I saw Ketchy drop all three of their asses off. So that's all I got right now. I'm just here to let y'all know. The bandits are alive and well. 
and they still are amongst the seas, okay? But they need to be careful and they need to watch out. Y'all saw that clip that I made with the kids spazzing out once he kept freaking inviting Scurry to uh, Chov to the uh, Discord. He finally got him in there. This is what recently just happened. Look at this right here. Das is talking to Angel. He gets in contact with him, right? They were having some type of conversation talking about somebody, but none of that's important. Let's skip down to the last part. He says, not really. Das says, okay, bye. Then he says, please invite the bandits. I will pay. Problem. I need them in here. Can you add me to a group with him? Yeah. Yeah. A little creepy. Guy's begging to be around the bandits. Find it to be very, very scary. Kid's losing his mind. If the bandits are still around, everybody that's going to the, join the Thirsty Boy crew, I need you to be on your P's and Q's, okay? Blunders out, ready to clip and clap. I don't want to put an APB out on Ketchy. I'm not going to put an APB out on Scurvy Choff because I'll be damned if they clip and clap me. But if the bandits are still amongst the seas, we all know what that means. Until next time, the seas ain't safe. But then now they've grown and they've gained a lot of respect from other crews. Okay? They don't, they don't know I know this information. In fact, nobody wants this out. You know why I get this information? Okay? I'm well respected around the seas. If you know my gamer tag, don't give it out. Because I can't help you. I can't help you. I'm going to deny it. I'm going to change my name. I'm trying to make the seas as safe as possible. If you give me out, you shut down everything. I'm gone. I'm gone. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I see any of these guys show up. Anybody. Okay? I'm gone. I'm gone. 